What is going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Bobby Five and Man, Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through tonight's NBA slate. Sheets, how you doing, man? Uh, not a great slate from yesterday. Did you have any luck? I did all right in the showdown in the in the in the Tampa Bay game last night. A um, uh, couple, you know, those 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 last garbage uh, garbage time uh, drives by uh, by Tampa helped out that. So I doubled my money there. Um, NBA, uh, no, I did not get much going on over there. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, ready to ready to get after today. Four game slate. Now, now know it's a seven thirty start. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be going live a little bit later today. Um, probably what, 630? 630. Yep. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, uh, um, moving on. When, yeah, when, is, um, when is the all-star break, by the way? <laughs> it's in, what is it? It's after the Super Bowl. I think it's, I think we've got a couple okay. more weeks left. Uh, maybe, okay. maybe a month even, actually. Um, but let's, 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 let's jump into it. We'll, we'll pull up your screen. We'll go game by game here and see if we can find a way to get different. Because my initial look at the slate is like, it's it's hard to it's hard to find much to get different that you feel good about. Okay. Excuse me. Um, so, I, so I so I presume that the ownership again is going to come from this from the Nets, right? Yeah, it just depends. I mean, if if you, it depends on Giannis whether Giannis plays, but yeah, I'd imagine that most of it will be the Nets on DraftKings. You have you have uh, you have Giannis as being questionable again. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, it just it just seems like just was just a game to just sit. You know what I mean? I, I don't think that he's missed a bunch. How many? See, he's he's missed no. a bunch? Uh, he, was, he was originally probable and then he was warming up and then he just, yeah, that's right. It's the three games in a row, huh? Yeah. So it, it, it's just something, something we're going to have to keep an eye on because it, it, it's obviously here the first game. Oh, that's um, good. He's projected to play. He's supposed to play, but that's obviously going to dictate a lot of the slate. Assuming that Giannis does play, I don't think there's a whole lot I want to do in this game. Like, I, I I do think that, as usual, everybody on Toronto is is in play. It's a back-to-back -back for them. But nobody really stands out to me as being, like, a, a great player. Are you getting much in this game? Because this seems to be the least interesting from a DFS perspective if Giannis plays. Yeah, so overall, this slate, I'm not getting – too much uh with respect to value so uh in in a slate like this this is where i usually end up doing middling type builds um um so that that's my first overall slate view because i'm looking at my 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 sheets which we just i just updated and i have like my fifth point per dollar play on the slate that's a, basically it's not a brooklyn guy i'm i am getting an okay projection out of precious i mean not great Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's the important thing. It's like really not great, you know. Um, aside from that, I guess my favorite play from Toronto in this game, I, I guess would be um would be a Van Vliet. You know, he he rates to be decent enough. And uh, listen, a four game slate, it's like eight teams to choose from, so only like really seventy guys to choose from. Um, I think that you could do worse than playing a guy like that who's gonna you know play play a billion minutes. If uh, I think regardless of whether Giannis plays or not, uh, I think Van Vliet's a good play. So those are the two guys I'd be looking for. Now, obviously, if listen, if Giannis plays, he's in play. Uh, and eleven eight is different than like twelve six, you know. Right, because, right. You know, so so I think you can get to him even without that much great value. Um, you know, you won't be able to play you know him and Jokic for example, or him him and I don't know if you want to play Embiid or something like that. But um, I think if Giannis plays, I, I'll, I'll consider that. I think that if he's out, then look, what's cool about it is that it's early. So I, we, I don't even have to speculate on who's playable. Right, <laughs> so right exactly. We'll see, we'll see who's starting. We'll see what the prices are. We'll be we'll be ready at 630 to, to adapt to, to that. The good thing is also is that they're, they're usually pretty, I mean, I want to say usually pretty good about it, but they, they rule Giannis out early enough. You know what I mean? Like you, I, I never feel as though, He's ruled out ten minutes before game time, um, so we'll be we'll be we'll be we'll be ready for that, whatever that is. Um, so for me, again, Van Vliet. If I have to play Precious, I will, um, but I don't think I'm going to have to. And so Van Vliet, and then maybe uh, Giannis if he plays, or the subs if he doesn't. Yeah, this is, it's weird. You'd think that there'd be you know on a four game slate, I I would have thought I would have more interest here. I just I just feel like this is the game I, I seem to have the least interest in of any of the games. Um, 
And if, like you said, you know, if, if you want to play Van Vliet or Siakam or Barnes or the, everybody's fine, but I don't find anybody as like a must have. Um, you ready to talk about Brooklyn and San Antonio? Yeah, these middle two games, you know, the, the Brooklyn San Antonio game and the Portland Denver game, I think both of them are very appealing for different, I guess, for different reasons. Um, you, they both have pretty good totals. The Brooklyn game is is appealing just because of again of all that value that still remains on 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 Brooklyn. Um, you know they really just haven't. I mean they really haven't adjusted the prices too much. You know uh, mm-hmm. it's funny they they did they did raise Kyrie's price despite the fact that he just never seems to get there. Um, but uh, Curry moved up to forty three hundred. Simmons I guess moved up to fifty nine a little bit. Royce O'Neal had a really really nice game. Uh, he's up I guess a little bit. Clashed and got bumped. So okay, they 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 they're, 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 I, I take that back. They did an okay job, I suppose. Um, as opposed to the Portland Denver game, where you actually have like legitimate, you know, like studs and good players that you probably want to play or you want to think about playing. But right now, I do have the five, the four Brooklyn guys: Kyrie, Seth Curry, Ben Simmons, and O'Neal, um, along with Claxton, is all very very good plays. And fortunately, or I guess unfortunately. I got some San Antonio guys too, you know, uh, as as top plays. So on this slate, so Portal, uh, Zach Collins is is good too, uh, good enough. I wouldn't play Portal and Collins together, both being centers. Then you know, guys like like Josh Richardson, Trey Jones, Keldon Johnson. I think this game is very very stackable, and uh, I, I I imagine at least one of my lineups is gonna gonna stack this game. Um, yeah. But you know, that's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, like uh, on this kind of a slate, uh, if we don't get other value, like guys like Romeo Langford, uh, Zach Collins are definitely like interesting from a point per dollar standpoint. Um, I think Kyrie is being still way over projected. And I would I would say like, I, I really do like Brooklyn, but my, my favorites in order are, I like Ben Simmons. I like TJ Warren. I'm fine with, with Royce O'Neal, but I prefer Simmons, Warren, one of Curry or Harris, that will probably be the way that I build my lineups. Like you'll have three of the three of the Brooklyn guys minimum. And I think that the the best run backs, um probably Keldon Johnson and Sohan. Uh those are my two favorites, but I, I'm open to the to the Podal or Trey Jones and all that other stuff. I I agree with you. This game does feel very stackable. And as of right now, I think that I'd I'd probably have like five guys from this game in my main build. And this 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 next game is is again as I just kind of alluded to is interesting kind of in a different way. Um, you could you could do like you could play Jokic, you could play Lillard, you know, you could play uh, uh, Nurkic, you know. You're just spending more to do it. I mean, you just kind mm-hmm. of it's kind of like silly to say it that way, but but you, you really are kind of dependent on a little bit more value opening up to make all that work. Like you kind of almost want like Giannis to be out, mm-hmm. so that you can play some Milwaukee value, whoever that is, um, and then to get to these Jokic's and Nurk and 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 Lillard's and who Lillard has just been just 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 doing it, man. <laughs> it's been, just been it's going when he goes on those runs, you know. I, I kind of want to stay out of the way of the bulldozer. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, I kind of want to keep playing him. Mm-hmm. Um, and and also, you know, the, the more the Lillard gets, you know, goes on these runs, the less playable pretty much everybody else on Portland is. Right. Um, so like all these like Amphrey Simons plays and Jer- Jeremy Grant, like guys like that. Like when, when, when Lewin gets it going, I mean, these guys are just not going to get enough shots. I don't think. Um, mm-hmm. So I like, uh, I, I do think that's the way to go. You play Lewin, you play Michael Porter Jr. Maybe on the other side. Um, you're not getting great value in doing it, but you're getting fantasy points, which is really what this is all about. Right. And, you know, you're just going to have to find a way to make that all work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm OK with with Porter Jr. or Murray, but I, I do like Jokic. <laughs> I do like Jokic. And, and again, I, I've mentioned this before. Nurkic always plays well in these matchups. His minutes have been all over the place this season in general. So it's always a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling. But I do I do like Nurkic in this in this, uh, you know, against his former teammate. Um, so I, I think that's probably my, my highest level of interest is, is both centers. I don't feel like I need to like Michael Porter Jr. is probably my next favorite play in this game. Nobody jumps out as like a must play, but like you said, Dave is on one of those streaks. So using him as your spend up instead of Kyrie at lower ownership makes plenty of sense to me. If you want to go that route. 
Um, so I, I, I'm totally on board. It's also a tough game. Dame tends to show up and, you know, for tough games, he's always going to take extra shots. And I think it's, it, it, it's a, it's a tough spot. Portland's been losing a lot of games. So I, I would imagine that, that Lillard and Nurkic would, would be, you know, the guys you want to, you want to play here. I think it's okay to get a little bit of exposure to either Gary Payton or Drew Eubanks as, as super value. Um, that would be the route I would go if I wasn't playing Nurkic. Uh, that, that they're they're just two two values that stand out, and maybe we'll have more by by six thirty. But as of right now, we just don't have a lot of value on the slate. So I thought I'd mention those two minimum cost guys. Um, yeah, whenever I think about playing Peyton, I just I don't know. He just doesn't seem to score. You know, he just I was hoping I runs into some steals and get an assist yeah. or two, maybe I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's a, that's that's what you know. Uh, I mean, they they did go out and pay a good amount for him. He's just getting back into to playing. They're only playing like you know twenty minutes is probably where he's at. But I'm just just throwing it out there because I do yeah. think we need some value, you know, on this slate. And there's a lot of good spend ups. It's like the opposite of the slate yesterday. Um, no, there was nobody you really really needed to spend up for, and here you have a ton of guys that make a lot of sense. So. So in a sarcastic way, if you didn't like any of that, I, I don't know what else to offer you in game four because I don't really have too much. I mean, you have you have guys that can that can do stuff, you know, Harden and Embiid. I mean, both both um they can both do stuff. Um I just I think I prefer Jokic to to Embiid uh and find the extra seven hundred, I suppose. That's just my 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 instinct there. And instead of Harden, I probably would prefer you know, either, well, Kyrie and Lloyd, you know, we higher ownership, but I maybe even prefer Lillard, you know? So, so I, I don't, don't think I'm going to get to them. I'm not going to pay 10, three for, for Kawhi. Um, and I, I guess that's it. I mean, do you, do you, do you like these guys at all? You like this game at all? Not, not, not like it doesn't like stand out from like a value standpoint. It looks pretty bad, but I think Embiid, Harden at low ownership are both interesting. And I think Paul George is really interesting at low ownership. That that that, that would be my my argument for this situation. Um, otherwise, in terms of like just actual plays, I think Tyrese Maxey and I think Zubac are both in play. And I don't expect either of them to be high, particularly high owned. But yeah, the Brooklyn San Antonio game is is where you, I think you want to do most of your stuff. But I, I I have no problem if you you know playing a little bit of the low on either George Maxi because everyone's going to play those other guys you know whether it's Lillard or uh, uh, Kyrie or if they're going to spend up they're going to play Jokic I just don't think this game gets gets looked at as much and I think that Embiid has basically the, is a very similar play to Jokic and I, I I would I would I would take a look at that just just from an ownership standpoint but. Yeah, nothing. Nothing from a point per dollar looks like really, really good from this game. So I just, I just, I just, I just ran a Sabersim bill just based on the projections as of now. Yeah, and I, it's it's well, I would say it comes no surprise. I mean, the top owned guys are six top owned guys are all from Brooklyn. Um, yeah, yeah, that's and, what happened tonight. And what is interesting though is that is that this particular run, even in 150 lineups, only got like six percent Giannis. Mm -hmm. um, which and the reason why is because again you have this freaking Kyrie play right that that that's that that in theory you know what I mean like projects well um mm -hmm. and, and but what happens is that it takes up you get a high projected play that soaks up some salary um you get you know it becomes harder to play on it like especially on a slate without too, so much great value so if, if you believe that that Kyrie is just is just over projected, which he could be, I mean, listen, he hasn't smashed like ever this year. Right. You know what I mean? Like, um, and he's now at, he's going to be the highest one of at least the highest owned players on the slate. I, I have right now him and Simmons as the top two. Mm -hmm. um, in, in either case, um, listen, there there is there's there's perfect pivots. You know, uh, mm -hmm. instead of playing Kyrie, like you said, you go four hundred less. To, to Lillard, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's totally reasonable. And like mm -hmm. Simmons at 5,900, how about, listen, this is a little different type of play, but go down to maybe Michael Porter Jr. or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, th so there, there are ways on this four games like, to get different. Now you are sacrificing some you know, projection integrity a little bit, but I mean, 
you could tell me for real that 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 I'll tell you, I'll tell I'll put it to you another way. I'm not afraid of, of like not having Kyrie, like for example. Yeah, you know I, I agree. Mean? Like if I, but if I don't have Lillard, sort of, I'm like kind of am afraid. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. And yeah. considering that Kyrie is like twice the ownership of Lillard, um, uh, I'm kind of talking myself into this actually. Yeah, I, I think that I think you're I think I think what you're saying makes perfect sense. I I, I, would, I would be inclined to do the same thing. What I wouldn't do is like. Oh, everybody on Brooklyn's going to be on, so I'm not going to play Brooklyn. No, I'm going to play three guys from Brooklyn and pretty much all my lineups tonight. Right. Um, that's just the what way. What do you think about Claxton? Kyrie's probably won't be one. What's that? What do you think about I got two guys here. What do you think about Claxton? Because he always seems to show up. Um, and the other guy that I don't really get to too much is Swanton Abi. What, what, what do you think of him and what do you think of Claxton? Uh, as, as a value, I don't mind taking a shot on Watanabe. I think, I mean, I think Claxton is fine. I just don't think it's like, like Claxton versus Nurkic, I think I would probably play Nurkic. Right. Um, right. And Watanabe is just a value that you hope hits a couple threes. Uh, he sort of is not not a lot different than the the Gary Payton play that I mentioned and the the Drew Eubanks. Um, I think I would like those other guys better though. Murray probable. I'm just look at some of these tags here. Bones yeah, sure. Islands questionable. Um, so is what's his name? So is Payton. Wait, where's Peyton? What team is he on? Portland. Oh, okay, so Portland, not on Denver. Uh, was he used? Do he used to be on Denver? No. Okay. He was um, on Golden State. So let's just see for for just for fun. If we put in Lillard and 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 and, and like I said, Michael Porter Jr. So that that's that's going to be the differentiators, right? So and so now let's put in some Brooklyn's. So. You like Warren, but let's put in. Um, I like Warren, and I like. Uh, I, I really like Ben Simmons. I mean, yeah. So, so if you do, if you do this right, and you don't play Kyrie, um, I guess you're off to an okay start. I mean, obviously you can't play Giannis. With yeah, this. it's hard to get off the board, but I think that is that is the way you can get value. And and I and I and I and I, I again I go back to the Eubanks thing. There is a real argument to maybe to, to to taking a shot on some of these these weird values that I think I think makes some sense, and I think that that Eubanks is one I can talk myself into. Oh, so here's the other thing we could do. So, how about? I mean, without even putting any more Brooklyn value in, I mean, now we'll play Lillard and Nurkic, and then Porter. And Van Fleet, I just keep getting drawn to these middling builds. You know I, mean? <laughs> I I agree. I, I feel like that's the way you want to go today. And then then you know, listen, Seth Curry fits in here. You know, there's there's uh, you know, probably other nets that could fit in here. There's other your Gary Payton play can fit in here. And this mm -hmm. like it doesn't look like much, but you listen, you're off of Jokic, you're off of um, Giannis if he plays, you're off of Kyrie, and you have some good players. You know, and and I think this is uh, this this could be what you do if uh, look. If 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 all the Milwaukee guys are out or whatever it is, this value opens up somehow, then you probably are going to want to play Jokic, you know, mm -hmm. or you know whatever. But um, I don't know. I, th I, th I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking forward to playing the slate all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. No. God. I I think there's there's definitely a lot of ways you can go to get different, and I think that it makes it kind of an interesting slate. And uh, guys, we we'll look forward to seeing you guys at six thirty Eastern. Um, anything else? I'll have up on the site in a little bit. And uh, yeah. Should be a should be a, a fun little easy four gamer. Um, hopefully we can we can make some money tonight because I am on a on a dead cold streak. So whatever Sheet says, try to listen to him because I I can't seem to win right now. Well, we gotta get um gotta get uh gotta get someone else there. We, we gotta get a maybe Evan to come in with his takes or something like that. Yeah, we well I mean look, my it's not that my takes are always bad. It's just I, no, I know. Just, okay, yeah. we gotta get the right combination and then get, yeah, get the, the combinations are you know you look at the winning lineups every night and it's like oh I have those guys but they're not together and I have these guys that's, that's, right. that's right. So it's one of those well uh, step steps to, all right so you made it to, everybody's made it through this video step one so step two is make it to to live at 6 30 um and we will hopefully yeah. make a, a little more sense of this. Yeah, that, that, that will be the more important step. <laughs> we'll call it for now. Anyway, guys, uh, have a great day and look forward to seeing you guys at 6.30 Eastern. Uh, we will see you. Uh, we'll be there. Good luck, everybody.